Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Notion search. It's in beta at the moment for me, but it will be available today. So I'll include the what's new uh, page that Notion have in the description below. Uh, I know a lot of Notioners, Notioneers, uh, actually are really interested in search upgrading, obviously. There's been a lot of focus on the stability, the offline ability of Notion. So I think this will be a nice update. Um, what I'm going to do in this video is actually tour you around what it looks like, how it works, and give you a few of my opinions. And I also want to maybe leave a few notes at the end um, for the Notion team, maybe to incorporate into the next version. Then maybe I have um, just because, you know, uh, always progressing and improving. Um, but as you can imagine, they may have actually solved these by the time they release this today. Um, so as you can imagine, uh, just something to note, you may not even see it in your live version that goes available today. So as you can see, I am on our account here, the Keep Productive account. Uh, I'm looking at the podcast calendar because I'm seeing obviously who's coming up next in terms of interviews. Now, obviously you can do it in two different ways. If you're on Mac, um, I think the command is Command P. So you can see this is new search. Um, it's slightly different. Um, previously, it was more of just sort of a panel for you know being able to add stuff, but the idea behind this is just to make it a better search to be able to a bit, be a bit more refined um, in a sense. So if I, um, for example, went on to uh, the, the recent pages, you can see that the recent pages appear here. And if I press enter on any of them, obviously take me to that page. So that that's quite nice. Um, and as you can see here, um, you know, it's got all the most recent ones that I've been in. Um, but what you can do is, for example, you can start typing away. So if I wanted to find um, the, uh, actually I'm gonna say a specific feature that we have Next week, we have uh, a, a tour of an application called Miro. You can see there, I can obviously go straight to it. Now, there is a few additional things if you're trying to go a little bit deeper um, with your search results, and that's sort. Um, so sort by is based on best matches. So if you have lots of different database entries and things like that, then it's gonna give you best matches, but obviously a longer list. You can have it uh, last edited, uh, newest first or oldest first, and even when it's created. Now, let me give you another example of how the filters work. So let's say I wanted to um, holidays. So if I looked for holiday, um, holidays, um, this is when we had our holidays before. If I went to add um, filters, I could actually go and look for something very specific. Um, so in this case, I could, open this menu up and you can see only the ones that match the title. So you can see here that it's already reduced the list. Um, I remember when we we're doing a present ideas, obviously it's gonna drill that down by page and author. Um, but you can also do ones only created by me. So as you can see here, you can have a filter by person or author. So you can also add, for example, we have Alice and Ben on another page. Um, that I invited. So obviously I could drill down to only what Alice has made. So if I remove myself, uh, I could add a person and I should be able to remove myself. There we go. So this will only appear when Alice there. So we can see that she had holiday time off for graduation. So that drills it down by author. So if I can remove that, uh, you can also have edited last week, which is quite a nice little sort of quick edit. So for example, if I, um, wanted to actually go onto a, say a podcast, if I typed in podcast, and you can see here, these are the ones I actually edited last week um, in that time spam, which you can click on and edit if you wanted to. So for example, if I was like, okay, I wanna see which ones I only edited between these days. And as you can see, it goes even thinner, and uh, I can say, okay, only the ones I edited on Tuesday, Tuesday to, uh, yep, that's it, Tuesday to, Wednesday. There we go. And as you can see, I, I actually didn't do anything there. So last edited is quite a helpful one, but that's not quite a nice pin because you can go like last edited last week, which gives you a clue, say on Mondays when you're like, okay, you know, what did I get done last week? You can also see here in the current page. So for example, in the current page, which is detected as the podcast calendar, um, you can then search. So I can be like, um, you know, oh, let's have a look for 
uh, Eric, who we're interviewing next week. And you can see there that it drills down and finds Eric's very specifically. And you can even add a page if you wanted to um, of anything else that it might be related to, uh, which is quite cool. So you can then find per page specifics, which is very good. So if I go over that, that's the quick filter settings. So again, author, date, and uh, in page. So down here, you've got more filters. You've got in page um, of another page. So you don't necessarily have to go through that quick filter of in page, in current page. You can use a created by without doing that complicated thing. So I could be like, okay, what, what's been created by Ben? And you could also give it a specific day. So it could be like, okay, last July, between these days, what did I go and create that had Eric in it? Or what did I um, create in general? Um, I'm guessing I can just run a blank filter. Oh, didn't like that. Um, I can't run a blank filter. Um, you have to always have text there. So if I say anything that was a title YouTube and uh, I went to created by, uh, actually created, and I went to last July, could say any projects that I or anything that I had that was relevant to YouTube looks like I didn't I think I was on holiday that time but you can get the concept very easy to use as well as last edited so that's uh, all very useful so um, my initial opinions are I'm very happy that they've upgraded the notion search this is something that should be have been around for a while um, as you can imagine I don't see it fully fixed in my opinion just yet obviously it's a much better experience than we currently have. And I can imagine actually finding very specific things inside of deep folders or areas that you may have created at home. Um, it's going to be a lot better. Um, I can see that uh, there's going to be a lot of value um, from using this. However, um, I would say a, a search that would uh, be able to drill down format types of files would be pretty beautiful. I can imagine they're going to be adding that. Um, I would also like date based ones. So for example, if I typed in tomorrow, um, you can see that any keyword mention of tomorrow pops up and I could uh, go into here and maybe add a date, but at the same time, it have to relate to that keyword. So having one that associates to dates, like I could just type in today or there'd be an option for today and it will come up anything that I've created, any reminders that I had associated to it, um, anything that might be important related to today has a due date for today as almost like a, a a layover dashboard to what we've already got that would be pretty cool so formats dates um i wouldn't say people necessarily um i would say those are my two sort of things i'd like to see in the search um obviously the thing that at the moment is i'm not unlocking the search is the offline abilities and they've just added a stability update so i can imagine when they get the offline update, it becomes a lot better as a search experience because you'll be able to access more older databases and you, you can download what you need. And I guess to some extent what I was mentioning in the um, sort of like a mini layover dashboard, you can see here that, um, you know, uh, like we like getting updates like on Alice's latest article on the top 25 project management applications. You can see here she give me updates and, you know, I'm getting updates on like dates and stuff, but it's not really a comprehensive method. And I think search could be a nice way to do that. Um, and be able to opening up and seeing like almost what you need to get done during the day. Because you can see all the old, old updates, but it's not in the same fashion. So guys, um, overall, my opinion's good. I think it's a great update. I'm glad they added some stability stuff. I noticed some slight improvements in at least the Mac application. Uh, I haven't really tried it on mobile yet, but it seems a little bit snappier since the previous update in December. Um, let me know what you think, because obviously this is a community thing and the more, I think the more things that they have said to them, the better and more experience they get at developing it. Um, but as you can imagine, uh, a big thank you guys. Um, if you want to check out the Notion course, um, that's uh, fantastic. You can find it in the link in description. Uh, we're doing a small discount of $50 uh, using the webinar 50 uh, code at the checkout. And you can get 50 bucks off. But that's only till Thursday. So do just um, make sure you take advantage of it. But guys, a big thank you. And hopefully this tour was nice and useful. Um, I look forward to seeing and hearing your comments. I've been a little bit bad on the YouTube comment side of stuff recently. But I will be checking it out. And uh, I look forward to hearing what you think is the best uh, sort of additions they can add to this update. So guys, a big thank you. 
and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Cheers, everyone. Bye.